Hi everyone, I understand many of you have completed the GCSEs today and the rest of you are finishing it by early next week. You may be worried about how you have done the exam, maybe a bit worried about if you are planning to do max in A level, is your GCSE results enough and a bit nervous about it. Don't worry, in this video we are discussing a brief idea about the minimum requirements. Let's have a look. If you are planning to take max as one of your A-level subject, the minimum requirement is level 7, which is an A. But however, there are some sixth form colleges and schools giving a chance to the students who scored 6 but predicted 7 in their mock exams. They are giving this chance to reset your GCSE maths and get a minimum 7 to continue your A-level maths. But this is only for some schools and colleges. But widely speaking, the minimum requirement for choosing subject is 7, which is an A. If you want to choose further maths, also in your A-level, then you need a 9 in GCSE maths or GCSE further maths as a A star. However, there are some few sixth form colleges and schools are accepting level 8 for further maths. For this is entirely up to the school to decide and you need to contact your sixth form college or schools on this matter. We understand that you are now in a situation to find out what's going to be happen next and how hard is the A level maths and further maths. So we have listed out four points to help you out. Our advice, number one, you don't need specific GCSE grades to get specific A-level grades. And the vast majority of universities don't care much about your GCSEs. Generally speaking, people with almost all of their grades at A-star are more likely to get A-stars at A-level, but it all depends on how hard you work in the sixth form. Most of the people that I know who got all A's and A stars at A level had a large number of A stars at GCSE. Tip number two, don't worry too much about your GCSEs. GCSEs results are not always a good indicator of how someone will do at A levels as you could get nines and eights at the subjects you wish to continue to do in A levels but get fives and fours in your other subjects at GCSE but since at A levels you usually specialize on those subjects you got eights and nines you never know how you may do the A levels Tip number three, A-level maths and further maths. I'm going to go against the grain and say for AS, there is not really a significant difference in difficulty between maths and further maths. It only really ramps up in the second year. Many students found second year further maths is a bit difficult. It's a subject which requires a lot of hard work. Tip number four, passionate about maths. If you are prepared to work hard in your A-level, then it's not too bad. We would advise that be prepared to practice the daily work, topic exercises, monthly catch-up revisions, and familiar with past paper questions. Then it's by far become your favorite subject. The most important thing is being passionate about what you do. I mean about maths. Now look at the books you are going to use in your A-level maths at Excel. If you are taking A-level maths, you will complete two books in the first year, which is one for pure maths and the other one for statistics and mechanics, combined book. In the year two, you will continue the book two of the pure and the book two of the statistics and mechanics. In total, you will sit for three papers. They are pure one, pure two, and stats and mechanics combined paper. You have the option that you can do all the three papers at the end of the second year. 
However, if you can study all four books in the first year, then you can sit for the all three papers in the first year. So you have the option to focus on your further maths in the second year. Let's look at the further maths books. Those who are wanted to do the further maths, you need to do copio maths one and two and choose one optional subjects from further PO, further mechanics, further statistics or decision mathematics. Here you will sit two papers, one for copio one and copio two, there's a part one, part two paper. Then the optional paper also have the part one, part two, either further PO or mechanics or statistics. If you are planning to do the a different exam board like uh, OCR as you're aware that some schools use different exam boards and if you're choosing OCR then you will use the books in these slides. Uh, the core concept of the topics and theory is the same but the exam structure slightly different according to the exam board. Now what you can learn from these slides a brief idea of the A-level maths and further maths. So before we end this video, we would kindly request two things. Our kind request is number one, spread the news, tell your year nine and tens about Smart Tutors uh, YouTube channel, the best quality teaching of maths ever. Number two, if you're planning to do A-level maths, then please stay in touch with our channel as we are going to publishing free contents from September 2019. Last but not least, we would advise that we are working on a project called Learn Maths for Free. In the memory of my friend's son, age six, who had a battle with neuroblastoma cancer and left us in December 2015. So we are providing a maths content free of everyone can study maths through the YouTube channel. That's the end of the video session. I hope you like the video and if you do like the video, uh, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel uh, to see the upcoming videos and you can spread the news for the year 10s to get to know our channel. They can uh, learn and revise the topics and prepare for the next year GCSE and those who are taking the A-level maths, please stay in touch and we will announce how we are going to be teaching the A-level maths through the uh, YouTube channel. Thank you for your time. All the best. Is your child weak in mathematics? Do you spend much time at work and struggling to find a tutor for your children? Don't worry, because we have an ultimate solution. Smart Tutors brings you an amazing meld of mathematics coaching experience by tutors working successfully in UK for more than 12 years. Our website is an immersive learning experience that provides comprehensive, curriculum-aligned mathematics content for toddler, age 5, to teenager, age 18. Smart Tutor is a user-friendly website which enables you to download three mathematics worksheets for free. If preferred, the user can download thousands of mathematics worksheets and sample papers for the chosen age group for only £2.50 per month. Not just this, but if you wish to have private tutoring at home, if you are living in London 20 miles radius from Heathrow Airport, you can request for private tutoring by clicking the button and Tutor will contact the parent and arrange the class for your child at your own place. Smart Tutors also provides a facility to have tutoring via online tools. If you are interested, book your session now. You'll not need to wander for math tutors for your children anymore. Contact us today for a guaranteed 100% success.